Well, hey, everyone, welcome to another Alberta Fishing Game Association interview. And uh, well, back by popular demand, Dave Donanko, who is the second vice president of the AFGA, joins us for this episode. Uh, Dave, uh, we are going to delve into the world of um, communication, something that's near and dear to my heart. And I know uh, to yours as well, because you are the communications uh, um, director for the organization. And, and I guess this kind of revolves around one of the common themes that uh, people have uh, indicated to you, and that is, hey, we don't hear enough from the organization. Uh, talk to that for, for a few moments. Yeah, exactly, Michael. That's probably one of the most common uh, themes I get attending zone meetings and club meetings, et cetera, and you know, hearing from membership that we, they just don't get communication from, from the association. And, and communication um, is integral to a success of any organization. I mean, if you don't communicate through members, um, then how do they know what you're doing, right? Uh, I used to tell a story when I was uh, teaching about the communication and making sure your communication is clear and concise. And it was a little story about uh, <laughs> two hippies that pulled off on the side of the road and and they're backing them on the road. And the, the driver says, uh, anything coming? dude and the uh, other guy says just a dog man just a dog well they hear a big crash and they wake up in the hospital and uh and the guy says hey man i thought you said it's just a dog he says yeah greyhound so i mean <laughs> and that was what i used to open up our story on being clear with your communication i mean we can communicate things but we have to make sure that whoever we're communicating to understands the message and i guess the other end of that is having the audience receptive and 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 understand that message because they may not like what they hear and and let's face it the uh, the issues facing the alberta fishing game association right now are pretty severe yeah absolutely i mean uh yeah and, and the other thing is not just to some of the messages being severe it's um there's so many different ones i mean it's not like we're just advocating for hunting or fishing or or firearms or right we we cover the whole gamut, the environment, habitat, et cetera. So um, we have to be, you know, on top of things for sure. And and there's there's a number of audiences that you have to be cognizant of. I mean, it's not just the members of your group, but it's members of the public, it's member of government, um, special interest groups. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you know, that's one thing, Michael, for sure. Like, I mean, we have to communicate to our members first and foremost. And and not only that, they need to communicate to us as well. I mean, our lines of communication are open. I mean, we have all of us have emails. Um, we got, you know, phone, pick it up and give us a call about things. And I, I think it's getting better, um, but definitely can can be even better than it's been. But as you said, uh, it's just not the members, it's the rest of the outdoor community that we represent. That when we Come up with policies and ideas um it's not just for the benefit of our members it's for everybody involved in the outdoor community so we and we have to make people aware of that that that's what we're, we're doing um talk general a, public sorry yeah go ahead. Uh, sorry about that uh dave uh, i i guess talk a little bit about the the other elephant in the room and that is that Let's face it, the AFGA is getting older in terms of its members. Um, there are new platforms out there that uh, um, younger folks are using to, to talk with each other. How big of a challenge has that been to, to utilize, um, you know, Twitter? And uh, I think Facebook's a fairly safe one. It's been around the longest. Uh, but some of the other newer social media platforms, it really does come down to, you know, um the medium is the message oh absolutely and uh you're you are right bang on with that analogy that yeah we we do have an older crowd and uh i mean we still have to balance that out with means of communicating to them as well and at the same time if we want to bring on the youth which is extremely important um then we need to uh, go through the mediums that they're they're accessing facebook uh, Instagram, Twitter, and uh, we've been encouraging, uh, well, the Provincial Association ourselves have all those accounts as well, and we've been encouraging clubs, etc., uh, to do that. Uh, I see some of the zones have already took on that. Uh, they have Facebook pages and and um, <clears throat> uh, Instagram accounts, etc., that, uh, and I mean, we need to. I mean, you have to 
you have to go to where the people are that you you want to send a message to. You mentioned that it is a two-way street. Are you getting as much as you're putting out? Uh, probably not yet, um, but I think we, we need to make sure that we leave those avenues of communication open. That, uh, Maybe talk a little bit about the various uh, platforms that you have been utilizing and, and where you're seeing some successes. Um, well, obviously this series, uh, Let's Go Outdoors series, we've been uh, posting and it's been uh, um, having some real positive comments. Um, and then we have the Hook and Bolton, which we've, uh, which is basically our newsletter. And uh, once again, uh, we've vamped it up a little bit and changed a few things over from the, you know, over the last few months and uh, had some really positive comments about that as well, that, uh, that they've seen some really nice things in there. And we continue to use the Outdoor Canada West um, the only unfortunate thing about Outdoor Canada West, it's not, it's two months ahead, right? Like I just finished writing an article that's going to come out in January, February. So it's, it's not really one where you want to, you try to keep on top of things that are relevant for the time, but at least it's a, a good platform to send out a message about um, what the organization is doing overall, et cetera. And then of course, the social media platforms. I mean, those, those are nice and current. I mean, it's like you can post, uh, uh, daily, weekly, et cetera, and, and, and get your message, message out quickly through those mediums. Obviously, uh, one of the things, you know, in the 22 years that I guess I've been covering at the Alberta Fish and Game Association, Dave, is the, the social gatherings. I mean, let's face it, the, the, the annual general meetings, uh, some of the club meetings, uh, the, the, the trophy uh, awards program, the, the, the kids camps, those are all very social. And it's probably one of your uh, strengths as an organization, being able to bring these people together. And, and you were just, you were, you were dealt along with all of us, uh, a pretty severe blow by not being able to host those things. I, I, I got to ima imagine that uh, getting back to that uh, more informal meeting um, scenario is something that uh, you guys are really waiting for. Yeah, absolutely, Michael. I mean, uh, yeah, there's communicating online, you know, through Zoom meetings, etc., is is a, a good thing considering the situation, but. Um, there's a whole different attitude or, or feeling when you're face to face with someone and you get a chance to discuss uh, policies and, and ideas um, on moving forward with association with um, use of the resource uh, habitat etc. And I think uh, that so socialization, ah, socialization part is, uh, is definitely uh, something that we'll look forward to getting back into again. Well, and I, I want to publicly acknowledge your efforts uh, over the last uh, 20 plus weeks. Uh, you have been uh, toiling behind the scenes, setting up these interviews, Dave, and uh, I really want to appreciate uh, uh, your efforts on that. And uh, the, the guests, I think, uh, to a person have just been fabulous and uh, look forward to, uh, in one fashion or another, continue the relationship with the AFGA in the years to come. Well, Michael, uh, and we really do appreciate this uh, opportunity to uh, showcase some of the things that we do, inform our members of some of the things that are going on. And uh, like I said, we'd very much appreciate it.